Hello again, everybody. Well, here it is, the results video. After watching 203 videos, many of them a few times, and 20, over 20 painful hours. You know, first, let me start off by telling you guys, in future videos from now, please, there are a couple of rules. Number one, put on some clothes. I do not want to watch you in your underwear doing a video. Number two, turn on the lights. Why is it that so many of you insist on doing card tricks in the dark? I can't see a thing. Number three, don't start your video with an annotation saying, I know this trick sucks. I'm not going to watch it. Okay, let me get to the results. Overall, the videos were excellent, and I had a really, really hard time making these decisions. So you guys did a great job. Let me start off in fifth place. In fifth place, making his very first video on YouTube, The Mind Manipulator. He said he put the routine together in five minutes. Uh, I was very impressed. It was really original. Uh, the use of a duplicate card, a blank card, and the overall routine was was really good. Have a little more confidence in yourself, the mind manipulator. Uh, you needed a, a bicycle deck of cards. You've got it. Uh, the link is over here. All the links are going to be on the cards right here, but also in the description box. It's better if you click in the description box. This way you don't lose the page and you stay right over here. Okay, moving on into fourth place. I generally don't like music. I don't know why people think that music and tutorials, card trick tutorials go together, but the Magic Pro did a beautiful, beautiful trick. It was about 40 seconds. The effect was 40 seconds. The other four and a half minutes or so was the tutorial. Uh, very difficult to do what he did with a deck that does not have a border. You really need a bicycle deck of playing cards. Uh, very simple yet effective gimmick. Uh, again, I, I really w thought this was a really cool trick. I'm not a fan of music in videos, but you earned fourth place. Congratulations. Okay, here's where the competition gets very tough. In third place, we have a repeat not a winner, but a repeat uh, finalist from one of the earlier competitions. This guy is absolutely brilliant. In third place is Plazity. Now, if you wanted to go out and buy a DVD and learn the Gambler's Cop Palming Steel, you couldn't find a better DVD explaining it right here. This is a brilliant video, great editing, overall very well done, beautiful performance. I had a very difficult time. You were in consideration for the, the win right here, but the competition was very difficult. Congratulations, Plazity, once again on finishing uh, in the finals. Uh, top final five, you're moving up. Last time I think you were fifth, now you're third, but you're first place in, in a lot of people's books, and I really, really love your videos. All right, let me shut up and move on. In second place, now I was looking for original, and I was also looking for a, a gimmick, the best gimmick, and this was a really tough decision. In second place, three and one, Andy Mervs finishes in second place, Andy Mervs Magic finishes in second place for the second contest in a row, and although he had several gimmicks and he put together a beautiful routine, the gimmick that I liked the most was the force Joker force gimmick. This was absolutely a beautiful gimmick because you have the spectator at place the uh, Joker wherever they liked. They say stop, and then when you spread the cards out, you basically ask them to look at the card immediately in front of the Joker, and you're hiding the deck, and then you they see the Ace of Hearts. And then you have a beautiful way of removing the card because you can take the two jokers out of the deck, throw them aside. You've now forced the ace of hearts on them and you've removed it from the deck. From there, you could do anything. 
and Andy Mervs did. It was a brilliant video, and you earned two decks of bicycle playing cards once again. You could start a collection of bicycle playing cards. Again, Andy, great job uh, once again. And now, for the winner of the Gimmick Card Trick Contest, this is exactly what I was looking for. A creative, original trick that could be put on the market and sold tomorrow. I had to test it out myself. The winner of this competition is Debugger Magic. Let me show you guys. What De Debugger Magic did is he took a deck of cards, and I'll show you the trick right now, and you guys can watch his video. The problem with his video is that he does it all to music. He's not speaking. He's using annotations. Uh, the music was easy on the ears, so that's one good thing, but this trick had to win. Uh, the deck doesn't look too fat. Uh, what you do is you have the spectator point to any card they like, and let's say they point to this card right over here. You take the card, and you put a little post-it note, and on the back you take a pen, and you write down your, what you predict that the person selected. You then take the card, you cut the deck, and then... What you do is you spread the cards out just like this and you ask the, the person to select a card, any card that they, that they like. And let's say they point to the nine of clubs and you take the, you, they want the nine of clubs, you take the nine of clubs and show them that of all the cards in the deck, none of them have the post-it on the back except the nine of clubs and that was your prediction, the nine of clubs. Uh, the way this trick is done was absolutely brilliant. When you look, there are 26 cards that are double that are doubled up. Each one of the cards has a post-it. Each one of the cards has a little bit of double stick tape. So when you take the card, you have a double stick tape card on the bottom, which was the queen, which I can't find now because it's a fat card. Oh, there it is. So. I'm showing you the same thing he did. I just really am impressed with this trick. He has a queen with double stick tape on the bottom. Whatever card you pick, you write down a meaningless prediction on top. You get that double stick queen right on top of that card. Now that card is completely lost. Now you show that you show all the faces of the cards and whatever card the person chooses. Again, there's not 52 of them, but this looks like a pack of 52 right here. And it's nice and tight together. Whatever they choose, like he says in his, in his annotations, you pull out the card, you separate it. You separate the card. Let's say it's the Ace of Diamonds. Just like you're doing an Elmsley count, you just push it right off. And then it becomes the only card with the card written on the back of it. And the rest of the deck has nothing. It's a brilliant effect. Uh, sell it. Get a, get a copyright on this. Debugger Magic wins the competition uh, with a brilliant trick. I'm hoping that this is original. I've never seen it before. Uh, everybody check this out. It's worth it. Uh, thank you all for uh, entering the competition. I'm running way too long. Next competition, winning prize. One of the prizes will be a blank deck of cards. Right now, my mind is a blank. So next competition, this will be one of the prizes. So right now, I will say goodbye, and I need to get some rest. I'll see you next time.